I've got here. I've got just got this package today, and it is my running boards, my sidestep for my for my uh, what is this Ram 1500, and that's going to be a little bit of work, not too much, but a little bit of work. Hey, Jen. What you doing? You busy? Yeah. Are you too busy to help me out? Uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, big box. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. You know what that is? Yes. Something to help me get in that big truck. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Alright. Oh, yeah, just, just tear it apart, why don't you? You're like, you're like the, uh, the FedEx guys. The what? Yeah. You're, like, you're like the FedEx guys. Yeah. <laughs> you're good at this. I'm pretty good at that. Maybe yeah. I should get a job there. You box destroyer. Ooh, so, wow. Yeah. I read some good things and I read some not so great things, but they were, gosh, I think they were less than $200. I'll have to check the price. Nice. But I bought them on the interwebs. You want me to install them real quick? Would you mind? Yeah, that would no. keep, keep, keep me from having to do it. You got some scissors handy? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm so glad that I don't have to do any work around here I know. ever. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> it's great having an indentured servant. Lucky. From Italy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 15 minutes, you can come back, and I'll be done. Really? Oh boy, that looks like a lot of, of uh, difficult wear. Or what do they call it? Hardware. Yeah. Passenger side. Okay. All right. And then... Wait, you want me to lift that up and bring it over there? Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it only goes so far. <laughs> don't you, don't you dent that. <laughs> So I'm not sure exactly which brackets we're going to use, but these, there's three of these that say D. So that's driver's side, right? Okay. Yep. And then there's three that say P which of is... these. And so that's passenger side, right? Yeah. And then, and I don't know what those are. And how there's many of those brackets. are? There's six. Yep. A bunch of hardware. Ooh. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So... This installation instructions, <laughs> right? It's easier to figure it out, right? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, good. Except that I'm almost done and well, that was left. <laughs> that was the idea. Well, I think you're gonna end up doing the other side, so you can do your how-to. Oh. Because. I'm pretty much finished with this side. Wow. Well, you got one more to do. Yep. Is this it? Is that it? Yep. So, what did you do? You just put those, it was two parts, you put them together? Yep. It, there were times where I could have used another hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, we got it done. <laughs> yeah. Good, all right, so... So far. So far, so this good. Goes. Now, you know that this has a front and a back, so I think it goes... Yeah, the long end back here. All right, but you got one more bracket to put on. Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave this on. Yeah, all right, let's keep this out of the way. Come on, don't slack it, jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll do, I'll do the other side and I'll do more of like a how-to and show people how exactly to do this, right? Yeah. Thank you, right? Yep. Ready? Yeah, finish her up. So I had to sort through all this stuff and ended up Pairing these um, brackets to the support or the support to the brackets and lined them up and then just started attaching them underneath and now it's the last one 
time to attach this one. So I'm gonna put this one on and then I'm gonna let Exo Man show you how to do the whole thing oh. on the other side. Thank you. Yeah, of course. All right, so my pick girl has left me, uh, but I've gone through the parts. And here, look, here's an important thing here is you, you notice that there is uh, less area between the step pad here in the front of this pipe uh, than there is back here. All right, so that differentiates the front and rear. So that short end of the chrome part or stainless goes to the front and the long end goes to the rear. this one in place now. But the trickiest part for me was this getting this what's called a nut plate. See it's got an eight millimeter nut welded onto it there and then it's got an eight millimeter bolt here. Well if you have the configuration that I have which is on this uh, classic crew cab 2019 you don't have you don't have threaded holes under here, let me show you. You see, here's the side panel. You don't have threaded holes to screw your bracket directly into the truck body. So you have to take this nut plate and fish it through a hole above here. See, now this was taped over like, like so. You see that tape right there? These holes above these nut holes are taped over. So you just pull the tape off and you take this and you put an 8 millimeter uh, bolt in here to use as a handle. See how I did there? Right? And then let me see if I can do this one handed here. Then you use that and drop it down and fish that. This is very, very. Uh, space here. Let's see, how did I do this? I may have to put this camera down. To, I had it through there. But what you got to do, there we go, there we go. I pushed it all the way in and then, boy you don't want to drop that. You just want to fish that. Through, there we go, through the hole, okay? Now don't drop this assembly because you don't want to lose, oh jeez. All right, I've got to grab a retainer to put on here before I lose the whole shebang. Okay, here we go. That's what these mysterious plastic discs are. This is a retainer to keep this in place, right? Now, I've got that under retention. I can take this out. You see, this bolt that I used as a handle and then I can drop that nut down into position right here to then screw my uh, my bracket into my nut plate. Got it? All right. All right. So there. So now let me show you. Let me show you the one that I've already done back here, and it'll be like so. Okay. You got that? You see the anatomy of that? There's my bracket. There's my little side bracket here, which is uh, going through this, this, what do you call this, the pinch weld here or whatever. Um, and I'm keeping everything kind of loose until I can set my side step on here and make sure everything's going to line up. All right, and the one up front, we'll go look at that one. Okay, now for some reason on the front here, I guess because of the anatomy of this truck, see how that's a support right there the there is uh, for some reason well for that reason there are threaded holes there so you don't have to fish anything into there those are actual bolts going right into the threaded holes those eight millimeter bolts all right so that'll save you a little trouble on the very front bracket and now this side piece to this bracket is ready to go into position all right 
right there. See, Let's see where there's the two matching holes there. All right. Hopefully this is making sense. All right. Now looking again from the from the outside, um, you see how the bracket is constructed there. You see how I've, oh, that's my little cat dog screaming. You see how I have this one ready to go in the middle here. There we go. And I've done that with <clears throat> just by putting an 8mm bolt through with a flat washer on the outside coming through to the inside and then I put a flat washer and a lock washer because these are not nylocks or nylon threaded bolts. So you have to use a lock washer and a washer. Alright, so, so lock washer and wash, flat washer on that side and just a flat washer on the inside. Okay, now we've got that ready. And so we'll go up under here. <coughs> of course, I won't be able to do this while filming, but I'll show you what's going to be done. Okay, see? So I've got my two holes. I'm going to set this first hole up over here, and then I'm going to take a, a bolt and go through there into this uh, nut plate. All right? All right, so now I'm going to use this <coughs> and rotate it till I see the nut plate course oh you see it there it is right there on the other side now I can get a bolt through there into that nut plate and cinch everything together all right there you go I was able to I was able to insert that into the nut plate and get it uh, screwed in a little bit and now I can put my uh, flat washer lock washer and nut onto this the hardware is not really uh, so complicated when you just, you know, sort it and count everything out. So here, now I have some of these 6 millimeter hardware, uh, which I'm going to put the other piece of that bracket on with now, like I've done on these. Oh, I haven't finished this one, so let's do this one. So what I'm going to do is take... Uh, a flat washer and uh, put that over that bolt and run it through and you see I've got these nylocks or nylon threaded washers or bolts I'm sorry nuts um, that we're going to use for the back side all right so let's put those through there So that's my start. I've got that uh, threaded on there by hand. Now you know that you've got, you're just going to put a flat washer on either side with these six millimeters uh, because this is, of course, a, a nylock or nylon wash or nylon uh, nut. So you don't even have uh, lock washers for these setups. <coughs> Okay, now we've got that, and, and uh, by the way, be careful to use the right size hardware. I've got to make sure that I use the washers, the smaller washers. Okay. Here we go. With uh, all three brackets in place, but still very loose, I wanted to kind of dry fit this, uh, this step. And there it is. It's, it's cradled nicely in there. And the bolt holes underneath are all lining up. And as you see, I have my, my small end forward and my long end to the rear. And that uh, everything fits. Now, be careful because in so doing, you could drop your beautiful uh, piece, your sidestep, and, and uh, damage it. So I have, it, I have one bolt under there holding it. And now I'll remove it and go ahead and start tightening everything up and uh, making sure it lines up. Now, it looks like I'm only going to be using a 13 and a 10 millimeter. These are the these are the sockets that I'll be using. And look here, you've got a bag that is labeled uh, used to attach sidebars to brackets only. So these are your these are your bolts. They're already fitted with washers that are going to go up under here and secure sidebar to your bracket. Simple enough. Two, four, six. Same on the other side. 
One thing that I forgot to mention in the beginning is that this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I just found these on the internet and they were a good price. It was $155 or $59 for the pair with all the hardware, which I thought was a really, really good deal. I got uh, free shipping as well. So, but when I was looking into this product, I saw both good and bad reviews, negative reviews. And the uh, the only real negative reviews that I saw were that the, the rust coming out from under here. These tubes, since they're shut on the ends, they're welded, they uh, can uh, retain water and it can rust out. Now a lot of people think that if they last, you know, eight or ten years, that that's a, that's a really good deal. So you have to do your homework and, and make your decisions accordingly. You might want to take a brush and wipe all of this sand if you have it. I live in a, on a sandy road and, or dirt because you're going to be laying under there looking up and that stuff's going to fall in your eyes. Nice. Solid. Very solid. Very nice. I have another video in which I demonstrated putting the hitch receiver on here, which was a, a pretty easy job. And a cool addition to my truck. And finally, for a bonus, I want to show you this. I just found this at the store, and I have had a great deal of trouble with these kinds of cotter pins on here because they're so rusty and difficult to remove and to engage. And I think I injured my hand right here by, by slamming one of these on one time. I, I definitely did injure my hand. Uh, created some scar tissue in there so because I didn't have a hammer or anything handy to bludgeon it with so I'm going to pull that off of there I'm going to slide this out cast it aside now watch this this you just squeeze this here and push it through straighten it like so right Put it through and we will flip it and push it into place. See how it's made on the end? So when you squeeze like so you can push it, you can you know push it into position to straighten it. But when you pull it through, it spreads out and it stays in place. Now an added uh, feature to this is it is a uh, there's a security measure here. You can, you, it's, an, it's called an anti-theft theft hitch pin. You can now put a lock here. You can't put a very big one, but you can ostensibly lock your hitch in place. All right, so that will serve me a lot better than this. And as always, I thank you, my friends, for watching, and I hope this video has helped you.